I'm Helen Levy. I'm here in my studio in Richard Queens to answer some questions for DMTV. So let's get started. With whom would you most like to collaborate? Kyle Kuzma. I already named a mug after you if you're listening. Let's work together. Can you talk us through a piece and show it to us that represents a unique technical or creative challenge and how you solved it? Funny you should ask. I have this giant piece here that was meant to be a component for a lighting project and I didn't measure it and it didn't fit in my kiln. So I had to bisque fire it on its side and I have never found a kiln tall enough because that's a huge hassle. So it remains here half finished five years later. The bio on your website describes you as a photographer and potter in that order. Do you consider yourself a photographer and how do you figure out what comes first? I called myself that because I studied photography in college. That was kind of my real passion when I was in my early 20s and I really thought that's what I was going to do. Um, pottery had been a long time hobby of mine, something I did since I was a kid, something that I did as a, you know, I had it as a job skill. I would teach kids classes. Um, so it was very hard for me to let go of my identity as a photographer when I made the transition into selling my pottery work. However, I do take photos every single day and obviously on my Instagram and I take my own product photos. So it's definitely still a part of my practice, just in a different way than I could have ever imagined. How do you think back on your meeting with Stephen Allen? Was it fate or luck? So the first chance I had to sell my work back in 2013 came after I met Stephen Allen at an event. It was a pop-up in one of his stores, and I went to the event. Um, a friend had been working on the store, and so we went together. And I saw he had some handmade pottery out, and I thought, why is a clothing store selling handmade pottery? And it was because he was going to open a home goods store, and I was just completely unaware of the community of functional potters that existed. Um, obviously they had been doing their thing and I just didn't know about it, but it was so exciting to me to think about um, these kind of small studios. And since I had been making pottery for a very long time as a hobby, kind of lit a little light bulb in me that maybe that was a path um, that existed. And so Stephen Allen was like, yeah, send me some pictures of your work, which I did. And eventually he did place an order for that home goods store he was opening. And that was my first experience selling wholesale. That was my first experience getting my work out there. And it was also my first experience making work not for myself or as a gift. So huge learning curve there. I think I remade that order three times. Last one. How did you come to sell your first piece and what was it? Well, that kind of was answered in the last question. But that first order, you know, the work stylistically was very different than what I'm making now. But in terms of function, it was still like cups, mugs, planters, which is still the top three things that I make now. Um, and yeah, the styles, definitely none of those from 2013 are still in production, but it was an awesome experience. Thanks for watching.